Hey guys, it's me, AG Daughter Hope Faith, and today I'm now doing it, my episode of the school day. So, in this episode, today's the first day of school, and the kids are super excited. Here are my four students, and let's get into the introducing part. Alrighty, good morning class. Good morning teacher. You're about to meet me. I know it's all the, we're all excited for the first day of school. So let's get right on into it. Alrighty, on our schedule, first we need to introduce ourselves. Introducing ourselves is a very good, important thing to do. And why? So that way you can make friends. Introducing yourself is a way of making friends because then you can learn each other's names and then you can come over to each other's houses and do each other's hair and all that blah 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 so making connections with your friends is a very good important part of school but making connections with your work is even more important so don't make too many more connections with your friends than with your work. So now let's meet everybody and then let's go over the rules. Alrighty, I'm going to start first. My name is Miss Hope Faith. I've worked here for lots and lots of years and I love seeing new faces. Next. Hi, my name is Martin and um, I like to play basketball. And I've been to the basketball team. All right, cool. Hi, my name is Rue Faith, and I love to be a doctor when I grow up. So that's why I'm at this school, because I heard this school's for smart people. That's right. All right, who's next? Can I be next? Of course. Hi, my name is Kit. And I like adventurous things, and I like typing on my typewriter. Great. We have a typewriter here. Cool. Next. Hi, my name is Lily May, and I like to serve on my family farm, well, my friend's family farm. And it's really, really, really fun, and I like to work there and have a lot of fun. All right, that is absolutely great. So, now let's get started. So, after we do that, we're gonna talk about our rules. Rules are next, R-U-L-E-S, rules. Our rules are what we do in class. So, what we do in class is, the first thing is, we're going to make a chart later about this, just telling you, on what to do and what not to do. We might make it today, we might make it tomorrow. Don't question me about it. So, first rule is do not answer or ask any questions that you should not ask or answer. Like if somebody asked me a question, you should not ask another question right behind it. And you should not answer for me. Make sense? Yes, ma'am. All right, and that was the R. Next is the U. And these don't line up with the letters. So. That's just how we do it. But rules does line up with at the end. So next is the U. U does line up. It is understanding questions, making good statements, and when a question is asked of you, make a smart and intelligent answer that is the you make sense everybody yes ma'am 
Next is L. And that does line up as well. It means look for clues. These are our rules. It doesn't only mean look for clues. It means look around. If you're lost on what to do on a test, don't look around like I'm telling you to look around and see what to do. That's not right. That's basically doing something in your own action. It's not following rules. It's just that you're thinking at it and you're going to do that. It isn't right. But if it's something like you don't know how to sit down properly, keep your hands and feet to yourself, look around. Look at what other people are doing. If they're doing it right, follow the correct classmates. That was the L. Next is E. E does not line up. E is, well, E is very much a tough one for me to remember, but E is um, keep hands and feet to yourself. I was kidding when I said a tough one. Because I'm like, I'm trying to say, you keep your hands and feet to yourself. It's a tough one for people to remember, though. At least it seems like that. Because not everybody can keep their hands and feet to themselves. And that includes your personal belongings. That includes your backpacks, your lunch kits, your pencils, your papers. You do not share your report cards, your tissues. You share your pencils, and you definitely don't swing your backpacks around. You don't swing your backpacks around. You don't swing your lunch kits around. You don't swing your food around. You don't throw food in the cafeteria. These are basic rules you have to remember. You don't even throw things that aren't yours. That's an even bigger responsibility. And R means two things. The second thing is, it means responsibility. If you have good responsibility, you will be checked on my list. Because if you have good responsibility, you will have good privileges. And if you can follow all these rules, you will have good privileges. I guarantee it. So, we just did the E. Keep all belongings to yourself. And now for the S. Rules. For rules. It would be rule if it didn't have an S. So, for the S, it is success. S is success. S is success because if you follow all the rules, you're going to succeed. If you don't follow all the rules, you're not going to succeed. You're not going to have success. You're going to have a lot of failures. And nobody wants failures. So, now that you know your rules, we're going to talk a little bit about our schedule. And then we're going to do what's called slant. So, um, yeah, let's use slant before our schedule. So, slant. That was a change. Okay. So, a slant is basically just sit up straight, keep your eyes on the speaker, track the speaker. You all should learn that in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and third grade. You are now fourth graders. You should know all this. You should know slant. You've heard it every single time. You go into anyone's classroom. It never changes. You go into somebody's classroom and they ask you to sit in a chair. That's a privilege. And you sit with a slant. S-L-A-N-T. We should all know that. Slant. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode this is episode one now i'll be back with some of our classwork in episode two